This morning, I'm talking with Morgan about what it means to proclaim the good news of God in Christ through word and deed. What came to my mind was this guy, Rob Bell. One of the videos he does is called Dust, I think. And one of the quotes from that is, may you be covered in the dust of your rabbi. And I think what that was supposed to mean was that you're following your rabbi so close that he's kicking the dust up and you're caked in it, right? I'm like, okay, what would that look like to be caked in the dust from Jesus's sandals, to be mimicking him so closely that you couldn't tell the difference in what was happening, right? Like, what would it look like to be following so closely that we like breathed in his footsteps and then left those footsteps as we moved in the world? And I think proclaiming the gospel is striving to mimic Jesus's movements and actions and ways of living so that people want to take part in it, like a revolution. So yeah, I think just speaking truth to power and kind of like calling out empirical systems and like speaking out against suffocating systems is a way to proclaim that good news without being like, well, Jesus told me to do it, so I'm going to do it and just do it and then live it out, I guess. Why is this one of our five covenants? Think about it, all five of those things are things that Jesus himself did, right? And we're called to walk in Jesus' footsteps and Jesus says that we will do the things that he has done. And so I think this is included in those things and proclaiming the good news is, you know, Jesus is that good news. And again, the way that he lived and moved in the world, I know it's easy for us to focus on like his birth and his death and the resurrection, which are, you know, the foundations of our faith. But I think it's really easy to like overlook his ministry, and granted, we only have like three-ish years to go on, but there was a lot done in those three years, and proclaiming good news to the oppressed and the marginalized through the way that Jesus interacted with those people, and taught and showed and modeled how to do that for his disciples who continued that work I think that's part of it because we're also called to continue that work and how do we do that in this time 2,000 years later with the way the world looks today how are we gonna be caked in that dust what does that look like in today's world